Shabbat Shalom. The holidays are upon us. This year, Christmas and Hanukkah coincide, and so people throughout the world are celebrating their sacred moments at the same time. When we think about the holidays, when we see advertisements for the holidays, usually they're depicted with families gathered around the table happily enjoying a meal together. But social scientists, popular media tell a different story. The holidays are difficult times, emotionally, psychologists tell us. Sitcoms portray the zaniness of families, sometimes in humorous ways and sometimes less so. How shall we approach the holidays this year when we have the opportunity to be with family? What can we learn from the Bible? The book of Genesis should make any of us feel better about the functionality of our families. Never have so many dysfunctional families been on display in one book. And at the top of the list is Joseph and his brothers. You recall that Joseph was thrown into a pit, sold into slavery by his brothers. As we come to this week's portion, the brothers have met Joseph, now disguised. They think he is a, an Egyptian official. And Joseph has led them on a circuitous path as he's tried to decide whether they have changed over the more than 20 years of separation. Finally, Joseph can take it no more, and he identifies himself to his brothers. Ani Yosef Achichem, he says. I am Joseph, your brother. One wonders why he had to add your brother. How many Josephs were there in Egypt at that time? Certainly they would have figured it out. He adds Achichem, your brother, to reveal his own thought process. As angry as he has been with his brothers, he also appreciates the fact that he is family, and they are his family. And in that moment, he expresses to them the eternal nature of family. No matter what, we are always family. And even at the end of the book of Genesis, after Jacob dies and the brothers fear retribution, Joseph reassures them again, we are family. Perhaps this is the message to take into the holidays. In Hebrew, we refer to family as mishpacha. In that term, we go beyond our genetic connections to one another, and we focus our attention on not only the responsibilities that we have to family, but also that we are family forever. And no matter our flaws, we are connected. And when the holidays come, there is what to celebrate when God has given us the time and the blessing to sit with family. Perhaps this year, amongst the many blessings that we'll recite during Hanukkah, a blessing just for the opportunity to be with family is in order. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shechianu v'kiyamanu v'higiyanu. Praise to you, Lord, ruler of the universe, who has kept us in life, sustained us, and helped us to reach this moment. Those are the words that I would recommend to your family, from our family. Shabbat Shalom. Oh,